Hi all. So you're you're viewing this video about the WooCommerce stock management by the third party third party FBIs. So if you have a service which will hold your products, your physical products in their in their place, in their storage sections, and you want to handle the stock levels and synchronize them with that uh, storage then you will need to use WooCommerce and to handle the stock management levels with the APIs or a service from that storage so I have written already a chapter in my book WooCommerce for developers about the stock management and in this video tutorials I will, sh I will show you how you can do that yourself at least a portion of it but it should it should give you a nice guidance to to create your own plugin for WooCommerce thank you for for viewing my first introduction and in the next video we will go on the next part where you'll start building your own plugin